This is listener-supported WFME, Newark, New York City. The time is 8.30. The following program is a live telephone talk broadcast. However, listeners outside of North America may be hearing a pre-recorded program. Welcome to the Open Forum, a telephone talk program designed to give you the opportunity to ask questions and discuss issues related to the Bible. Our host is Harold Camping of Family Stations Incorporated. The phone number is 1-800-322-5385. That's 1-800-322-5385. When you call, allow the phone to keep ringing. Your call will be answered when it is time for you to be on the air. When your call is taken, please be ready to turn your volume down. Our phone number is 1-800-322-5385. Now we present Open Forum with our host and Bible teacher, Harold Camping. Welcome to the May 23rd, 2011 Open Forum. Once again, we have an opportunity to talk together. Well, not really. Tonight, this is a different kind of an Open Forum. And then tomorrow evening, the Lord willing, we'll go back to our regular open forum where we were, will be taking calls from our listeners. But tonight we have, uh, this is an open forum in which we have invited all of the news people that are interested in what's happening to Family Radio and what we're teaching uh, to come here and, uh, and uh, I'm going to be speaking for a little bit because there's a lot of concern about what in the world is happening and, and what I think and so on. And uh, I very honorably have to face that. And then we're going to give the press an opportunity to ask a few questions and that will be the way this program will be conducted tonight. Now, uh, the, you know, for many, many months now, we have been teaching uh, that May 21 is Judgment Day and uh, of course this last weekend became a very interesting uh, weekend because May 21 came and is gone and uh, all the dire predictions that had been talked about did not come to pass and so the first question is uh, camping what are you what, what about you uh, are you ready to shoot yourself or are you ready to uh, go on a booze trip or whatever well, I can tell you very... winds and large damaging hail. 
seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 9.30 p.m. for the following counties in New Jersey. Uh, and uh, talked with him. And he, what he had to say was put in, the, at least in part, was put in the newspaper. And when I read that, suddenly the light dawned. Suddenly I felt way better. Uh, you know, let me talk about Otero for just a moment. He was a, he's been a dear friend of mine for over 30 years. And he was the founder of our Family Radio School of the Bible. He was the dean for many, many years. When I spoke at conferences, he very frequently was a, a, a also speaking at the same conference. And, and uh, even though he was, uh, in some ways, he didn't understand everything I was teaching, nevertheless, he was one individual that I could sit down and talk with and talk very candidly, and there were never, never was any contention between us at all. Fact is, every time he would visit Family Radio, I would, uh, I would be delighted to have him come into my office and we'd spend an hour or so together going through, the, uh, the, like, uh, uh, whatever it was. Well, then he was talking to the news media, and he made a statement or the news did, I don't know whether the news media got it right, but at least the, this is what they claim he said. He says, you know, uh, when May tw when uh, 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 September 7th rolled around, or uh, uh, in 1994, at the time I had was pro predicting then that there was a high, a high probability that that might be the end of the world, he says, you know, I had a private discussion with Camping at that time, and, uh, and this is what I read in the news report. Uh, uh, Otero said, the Lord did return to earth on that date in a myst mystical way, taking the Holy Spirit back to heaven. And suddenly I felt better. I, the light dawned. Uh, he, this quotation is, was not quite accurate, but I did remember the conversation, even though it was all maybe 20 years ago or 18 years ago, uh, uh, because uh, we, we talk very candidly to each other. Uh, it, what, he should have, what he should have said is that I had said, the Lord did, not, did return uh, to earth on that date to a mystical, in a mystical, mystical way, taking the Holy Spirit here to again begin to evangelize the world. Because on September 7th in, 19, uh, in uh, 1994, it is f a fact that God again began to evangelize the world outside of the churches. And I thought, oh, there's the answer. We have been looking at the information in the Bible too earthly, too, uh, too, uh, li uh, too like, it, like, it, uh, uh, like it was actually physically going to happen when the Bible is a very spiritual book. And uh, there's a lot of things in it that are very factual, of course, very factual. But there's also a lot that is very spiritual. And, uh, but how to know whether to look for it as a, in its spiritual understanding or its physical understanding is a very, very difficult task. But it suddenly it dawned on me, oh, I see what happened. We were convinced that on May 21, a God would return here in a very physical way, that is, the, in a, a, by bringing a great earthquake and by uh, ushering in the final five months of the Day of Judgment. And, uh, and, uh, and the fact is, when we look at it more spiritually, uh, then we find he did come, he did come. Now let me back up, let me, uh, the fact is, you're gonna find out that I'm going to be saying there's not a new date. There's not a new date. We've already been talking uh, again and again about uh, the end of the world being October 21 in 2011. October 21. 
And uh, but we have not emphasized that because the first the first down payment or the beginning of it was the fact that we would see all of these things happening and usher into a five months period of very, very terrible time. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I, I listen to, I listen to uh, everybody, and, and, but I always check them out with the scriptures before I uh, follow that. But, but today I received a, a letter from somebody, uh, one of our listeners. And I want to read it. It's a very, very nice, uh, nice uh, uh, statement, uh, and I, 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 I think I'm learning something from it. The great earthquake and rapture and and the universe melting in fervent heat will all happen on the last day, October 21, 2011. On the last day. Well, that's what we've been saying. Is the final day that they were not. That that's that's we, that agrees with exactly what we were saying. Then this person said, "The great earthquake and rapture and the universe melting in fervent heat will all happen on the last day, October 21, 2011." In other words, we uh, we've been teaching that it would happen on May 21, but it's all going to be compressed on the last day. 